You know, I never thought there'd come a day where I would do a history talk episode basically about a song. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome, like I said, to another episode of History Talk. Today I'm actually going to be talking about a man named Greg, uh, Gregory Rasputin. Um, now, the song that was kind of surrounding him literally called Rasputin, is a little bit off, not by very much, though. So Grigory Rasputin, for those who don't know, was cons- he, he was considered a holy man uh, in Russia back in the late 1800s. And he... Yeah, he had a lot of... Uh, Acolytes in his time. I will. I'll say. I'll put it that way. Um. But what was so unique about this particular individual that made him stand out? To be realistic, it wasn't him himself and his actions. At least not entirely. He was. He was capable of just analyzing people and telling them what they wanted, what they were hoping for, like a. Basically, like a like like psychics do in their jobs nowadays. Bear in mind, it's it was probably more believable back then because of the fact that you know technology didn't exist. They is basically human psychology was all people could go off of, and since no one knew anything about human psychology, or at least not as much about human psychology back then as they do now. It was probably much, much easier to just go, oh yeah, you want this, and they'll go, oh, I do, even if they really didn't. And bear in mind as well, this guy was a, he was a credible man for a lot of things he did, so. The weird thing is, though, his death. That's kind of where his story sticks out over anything else. Now, maybe it's just because of the commonly known song Rasputin from the, I think it was the 1980s? Either that or 1970s. Um, But even still, his death is kind of what sticks out over anything else. This is where the song gets it wrong. Song says the word they, but it was one particular man who killed him. And based off the records that had been held had been published in 1923 as well, by the way, by the murderer himself, it seemed more like it was out of jealousy and spite, as far as a psychological thing goes, but as far as, like, any other front goes, if I were to guess, his excuse is, like, this man was of the devil. And, I mean, his several, several acolytes that I was bringing up earlier could probably give evidence to that, but otherwise, that's about it. And at the time, that probably could have sufficed if he just approached it that way. If every woman in Russia wasn't pretty much falling for him. But, you know, there there was a small fraction of individuals. He did have a very specific one wife, though. Sure, he had a lot of women who would fall for him, but he did have a wife and children. Uh, Grigory Rasputin, I mean. And this other man, um, by the name of... I can't pronounce this, so I'm going to have to look at it. Try to pronounce it while looking. Hopefully I can do a bit better. Um, Yusupov, I think? It's spelled Y-U-S-S-U-P-O-V. So, this man... He was very lazy, at least according to the Grand Duchess Olga, who was the daughter, one of the daughters at least, of, uh, I believe he was the emperor at the time, Nicholas II. She marked him as super lazy and all that. I think this is kind of what pinpoint my, if I were to guess that, um... Yusupov was probably just jealous of Rasputin. Like, very much so, too. And his plot to kill him was probably to make, you know, for notice, for 
Hey, notice me. I'm here too. It's honestly, the, his motives are kind of just wild guesses because it's not really record of the reasoning, the direct reasoning. A lot of people can assume and create hypothesis. People can hi hypothesize about what happened on that front, but the only direct record of the murder itself that we have were, were actual records written by Yusupov himself, actually. And, well, the basic synopsis is that Yusupov had invited him and his wife, who was actually inaccessible at the time anyway, his wife being... Uh, Grigory's wife, by the way. Um, like I said, she was inaccessible at the time anyway. But this said Rasputin did not know that. And he was looking forward to this dinner, so he went. During the dinner, uh, while waiting for... What was her name? I'm trying to go off of, um, as much accuracy as I can, but my brain's farting a lot today, so... Pardon that. Um, let's see. So... Where is it? I think it was like a Zala or something like that. Irina. That's what it was. Okay. Pardon. But Irina and Grigory were invited for, you know, a goodly welcoming dinner. Or so it was claimed. Now bear in mind, Yusupov is, I believe he was also originally from Germany as well. Not, not Russia as a whole, but like Germany. Um, I guess that some kind of burning hatred towards this man whether spiritual or just personal, it definitely was one of the two, caused him to be malicious and act violently to try to kill the man. And what ended up happening was that he poisoned him with, ironically, poisoned apples. Because those were more accurately a thing back in that time. Um, creating wine, to be more realistic. So I guess he matched them differently. Honestly, back then, compared to now, wine is differently made, so it really depends um, on, like, when that transition happened. Also, itch on the nose. Hate it when that happens. But, either way, it didn't work. He survived that. And it was frustrating to the to Yusupov. What did he do? He shot him eight times with the revolver. I believe it was a revolver, at least. Yeah, I'm all over the place. with like I, I had to look up several different sources, and I have a list of stuff, so apologies for the scatteredness on this. But... Yeah. It, it, either way, it was a gun. And he shot him eight times. Somehow still surviving. Which, to be honest, wouldn't be the first case of somebody surviving bullets that I've heard of. So that part, when I learned about that, didn't really surprise me. So what did he do next? Well, this part was actually not in the song Rasputin. But what happened, he ended up drowning him. Threw him in a cage because of the wounds. He was definitely wounded and had a hard time moving around. So, Yusupov threw Grigory into a cage and drowned him. Never be, never to be seen again. Now, whether this was out of jealousy or some kind of rivalry or just hatred or something spiritual, it could have been spiritual, but it also could have not been. And the reason I say that part before I finish my statement is there was actually something that was left in um, the, I think it was like a diary or something, 
that was left behind by Yusupov. Basically, so what he left behind, if I can find it in my notes here. Here it is. Okay. What he left behind said, and I quote, This devil who was dying of poison, who had a bullet in his heart, must have been raised from the dead by the power of evil. There was something appalling and monstrous in his diabolical refusal to die. End quote. Now, more of his uh, di the dialogue that was written also kind of pointed out that at this point, Rasputin did have a lot of fluids coming out of his mouth. Meaning, he was alive, but barely. And this is not a first scenario where we've talked about like somebody having a lot of liquids coming out of their mouth because their body is barely trying to hang on to life. Uh, a previous thing, video that we talked about was actually involving a girl who died back in 2000 uh, due to her adopted mother's psychological stupidity. And actually this ended up leading to a law. But once again, this has been talked about in the past. Right now we're talking about Grigory Rasputin. I don't exactly know what happened to Yusupov. There was no record of what happened to Yusupov afterwards. But I guarantee he probably got what he deserved for killing this man. I mean, sure, the man, if you were to look at nowadays spiritual standards, he probably goes against what a lot of religions say but back then it was a bit more fluent it was a bit more open-minded um, and there was no definitive anything for any religion whatsoever so he taught what he could and he did do, do a good job at it no one hated him except for this one man Now, his life ended brutally. The weird thing is, though, like I said, I, actually, I may have said this in another take, because this video has, I had to redo this twice because it froze twice. Um, but in his beginning of his life, he was a peasant. The only reason he ended up the way he did is because of his skills that we were talking about earlier, being able to tell what others want, and I believe it was some crafting skills, too. Weapon crafting, by the way. For the royal family. When he became acquainted with the royal family, that's when he started to become well-renowned and became more known as a holy man. This is when, I believe, that's when the eye of Yusupov kind of was caught by him. And whatever caused the domino effect from there... Well, led to what we've already talked about. It was a tragic event, but hey, everything happens for a reason, and for all you all we know, maybe some of the standards we have today were actually based around that, but have been around so long that we just don't recall which morals would be based off that, or what events would be different if that didn't happen who knows either way though i'm gonna leave this here you guys think i missed anything about Greg gregory that's hard to remember to say constantly since gregory is more of a name nowadays you think i missed anything any details about rasputin let me know in the comments below um there were a lot of details i intentionally skipped over so i'm sure there is a lot to go over but I'm trying to keep this within a 10, 15, 20 minute time, time range. So thanks for tuning in this episode of History Talk, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, first of all, make sure to give the video a like. And secondly, consider subscribing to the channel. We don't do History Talk all the time, but it does get thrown in when something does come to mind. Um, Want to check out, speaking of, any other History Talk topics. For example, like um, the girl I was bringing up earlier,
who actually did end up leading to a law that was written to prevent uh, a process called rebirthing from ever happening again. If you're interested in like historical stuff, historical icons or historical people that should be remembered, um, why not click the link on this side of my head where you'll find that there. Or if this isn't quite floating about, but you're willing to stick to the end of this one, first of all, thank you. But second of all, why not click the link on the other side where you may find something that floats your boat a little bit more. In the meantime, though, I am going to head off. I've actually got a lot of work to catch up on for today. Thanks again for tuning in to the video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.